Good morning. Stepping to the office. Welcome back, Pedro DoorDash, Uber, Instacart, whatever. Santiago, you can call me Mr. Bet on you. Yesterday, I made a video talking about can you, I just do DoorDash in my market like it used to be and make good money. And I, I started it for lunch to, just to see. And it did not go well. So after filming, I you know turn on some other apps and it got a lot better. You gotta have multiple apps, guys. Turn on as many apps as you have. I think for me, my recommendation is having three or four on that you actively use, take the best offers, know which ones are good at what times of the day, what times of the week. It's the best way to effectively, efficiently make the most money and most profitability for you. It's really hard right now to rely on one app. Now, I'll say this because the first order I took yesterday, I'm gonna put a little split screen here. I put up a short yesterday asking how much you guys thought this order paid. It was a stack on Instacart. Came in at 35 bucks. And it was going 17 miles. I was like, oh. But the drop-off location was in the middle of downtown. That's where I wanted to be for lunch. So I said, let's just do this. Should take me an hour. With Instacart, you can see if there's a tip, but you know, you can see items, but you, you don't have a lot of time. When a dollar amount comes in that high on Instacart, you don't have a lot of time to decide. You have to just do it. And then you can cancel. So it's a stack. One customer has two items. Dog food, 35 bag, 35 pound bag of dog food and one case of 80 count water. Easy. That customer was the closest to the Costco, probably three, four miles away. Second customer, 15 cases of water, all kinds of food, two big things of tissue paper, big order. I think it was 200 and something dollars worth of stuff. I'm thinking, okay, I don't know who tipped what, drop the first one off, drop it, picture, easy peasy. Go to the second drop off. Now this is where the story takes a turn. I'm sharing this with you because it's funny. I think you can relate. I wanna hear your stories down below. What, what would you have done in this situation? We could learn from each other. This was the worst order I've ever done in my entire life. Now I've had customers tell me that they didn't get their food and they did. And that kind of, you know, kind of makes you mad and then you get over it, whatever. I, I've had customers not give direct instructions. I've had customers be rude, text rude things, but this was the worst and I'm gonna tell you why. I'll tell you why and then I'm gonna show you a clip that I recorded right after I dropped it off before I started really filming yesterday so you can see the my raw emotion in the moment afterwards. So it's an apartment like complex kind of deal, right? With a lot of little buildings. I go to the address that the guy provided. He even gives me a unit number, unit uh, B, I think. I get there. While I was driving there, I asked him, couple, you know, I told him I was on my way, got a lot of water, um, you know, is there any special instructions for when I drop this off, or I can make it easy for you? No reply. I get to the place, there's this big sign on the door. You can't, we can't walk into like the, 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 the building. It's a keypad. Big sign, all delivery drivers take all deliveries to leasing office. So I get to the address provided by the customer, text them, nothing. Call them, nothing. So then I go to the leasing office. I in app text. I'm gonna take this to the leasing office. That's what the sign says. Can't seem to get a hold of you. So I start unloading it. I find the leasing office, start unloading this large order that has my car basically just filled. I had cases of water here, bathroom tissue, I had stuff in the back, stuff in the back. I don't mind doing some heavy lifting. I took it. At, for face value, no problem with that at all. Not complaining about the cases of water. About halfway done unloading it, and the guy texts me, or he in at messages. No, I'm at, you know, because I asked him about leasing office, you know. No, 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 it's the correct address. You need to go to the correct address. So then I'm like, okay. So I leave what I've already unloaded at the leasing office, and I get back in my car, go right around the corner to the actual address, and see what's up with this guy. He's standing out there looking completely confused. And I said, yeah, I was here, you know, oh, and he start, you know, starts rambling, talking nonsense. And I said, okay, well, I got half of it there. How do you want to do this? And he goes, well, I need some of it here. I need some of it at this building over here. I need some of it at this building over here. And I said, hold on, man. It's not how this works. I said, you know, I could drop it off at the address you provided in the app, but I'm not really supposed to be driving around like you know i didn't say this but i thought this like a, like a postman dropping it off at east address like i'm you know 
like it's mail or something. I, you know, said that's not how it works. You know, I could drop it off at the address you provided. He goes, oh, well, no, no. I, can I get in your car? Can you get in my car? That's not what I said. I looked at him and said, what do you mean? He goes, oh, I can show you where we need to go. It's easier if I just get in your car. I said, hold on. <laughs> I was like, that's not how this works. I don't know how many orders you've done on Instacart, but, you know, this is my personal vehicle. Uh, you know, it, I could drop it off for, you know, to you at the address. And I gave him a recommendation I was really nice about it. I said, you know, next time put some, you can put some special instructions for your drop-off location so that the driver's aware when we get here so we know what to expect. So we're not surprised like this. He goes, oh, and so I had the stuff at the leasing office. He said, that stuff can stay there. We started unloading some of the stuff at the place that he left the address for. And then he proceeded to go to my front of my car and got in my automobile. Now, I'm not filming this because I'm not one of those world star. I'm going to film every interaction with a customer and like make it go viral. Like I'm not doing it. I'm working. I got the, I'm just trying to unload and go. He opens the door and sits in my car. After I told him we weren't going to do that. He goes, we just got to go get, we, I got to show you where I want to take these last couple cases of water. Because he did it in that manner, I said, hey man, could you please get out of the car? Like, you know, I delivered everything to you. He goes, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know. I know. I'm asking. He gets you. out. And I said, hey, man, if there's a couple you want, if there's a couple you want to put in the car, if it's right around the corner, I'll drop them off for you. He goes, yeah, just go to the, you know, go around the corner. It's a building, whatever. So those last couple, I took around the corner. I dropped them off at the door he wanted. No problem. Now, so, what would you guys have done in this situation? Would you have just gone everywhere in hopes to get a better tip? Would you have... I didn't do that because he, he, customers have to learn how these apps work. I think he was ignorant and misinformed. I think he thinks I work for Costco or that I work for Instacart. Now, I drop it off and this is what we get. $10 tip from customer A. A was the bag of dog food, one case of water. Zero tip from customer B. The miserable dude that's a little ignorant, misinformed, was just... I don't know what this guy was on, but to think he can get in like my car, I'm not, this isn't a rideshare passenger, okay? This guy clearly had a huge order and he's some kind of something at this complex and he was trying to distribute it and he's using Instacart as a way to do work and he did not tip. That guy sucks. He gets the dookie of the war today. If I ever see that guy, if I ever see that address pop up, I will instantly cancel. I will never do business with somebody like that again. Completely inconsiderate. And I actually did a little, some extra stuff for him. And he didn't tip. He didn't take the tip out. There was no tip as soon as I checked. As soon as I dropped it off, I checked to see. Because I, I do that. I'm curious. Zero tip. All that work. 15 cases of water loading it in, paying for it, loading it into my vehicle loading it to multiple spots for him. He leaves no tip. That dude sucks. What would you guys do? That was how I started my day yesterday. Pedro, Instacart, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Santiago, with a little story time. Now let's get to the main event. So kind of in closing, I say all that because at the end of the day, I could have canceled the batch. As I'm shopping, I didn't see the 15 cases of water and like, you know, and that doesn't, I don't mind doing those. I really don't. But you don't know how much the customer values you to do that type of work. And Instacart paid me $23 in total batch earnings for both combined. So I, I don't I don't know. That order should have been a lot more than $33.50, I think is what it was. And I probably shouldn't have taken it to begin with. After I accepted it, I could have looked at it and said, nah, this order's not that great. It's actually really bad. And I could have just canceled it. So that's my mistake. But we live and we learn. But at the end of the day, customers like that dude are the worst kind of people that order on these apps because they don't know they don't understand and they don't value us the apps will take advantage of you the customers will take advantage of you if you allow them and yesterday instacart and that guy got me but it won't happen again i'm gonna put in the clip from yesterday at the end of today's video as a bonus feature so you can see how i felt after doing all that you live and you learn hope you enjoy the video so let's hit the mean streets of stl and see what we can get into today Man, 20 bucks, 28 miles. 
$2 tip. For only two units. It's not the problem. It's the customer's probably tipping off percentage, but why is that order even an option? Oh, man. I think the best orders can be on Instacart sometimes if you get lucky, but the absolute worst trash can orders are also on Instacart. All right. All right. We just accepted our first one. Uh, I saw $50. I saw 16 miles and I just said, yeah, but I saw that it's going 16 miles in the direction of where I like to be, maybe for lunch. So let's see what's on this batch. I didn't even, okay, it's two of them. They're both Costco, which is good. I'm in the Costco parking lot. If you can see it behind me, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we got an order for Katie, six units. Jerry, 19, so not a lot of items. So let's look at Katie's right here. Okay, let's see what she's got. She's got a street tacos, ready-to-made meals, rotisserie chicken, easy. Uh, frozen food, easy pantry, baby stuff, easy order. Let's look at the other one. Let's see if this is 19 cases of water. All right, we got some chips. We got some tissue. Okay, everybody always gets tissue. <laughs> Bacon, meat and seafood frozen. No water. No water, baby. Okay, I'll take it. We got some, This is going to be a pretty easy order. And for 50 bucks, I'm all over that. Let me show you all what I saw here. So if I back out, it will go back to the beginning. So this is what I saw, 50 bucks, and I saw the direction. I'm gonna go a little south and go, it don't matter. It's 50 bucks, should take me an hour. Let's go. This day is gonna start off better than yesterday. Oh, no, I'm having a little trauma of water. Oh, I'm having, a, I'm having a little flashback of that water incident. Let's get the moving, baby, let's go. All right, a little rotisserie chicken. All right, this second order's got a lot of meat on it, so it's actually gonna be all in the same area. We gotta get a little ground beef. We're looking for uh, 6.74 pounds, 88% lean, 88% lean, 6.74. So you're not always gonna get right on the money, but it looks like we got like a 6.47 is the highest I see. Oh, 6.71, we'll take that one. All right, we got a little fist action, baby. Let's get this Kirkland signature. Three pounds, baby. Three pounds. That's a lot of meat. Doing that Instacart life, man? Doing a little Instacart? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How you doing out here? Good? That's what's up. All right. All right, All right we're done. Took us 18 no, minutes. A lot of food. All right, we checked out. Now we look for some boxes to put yeah. that stuff in. We got some good selections here, so we good, we good, we good. Okay, now we take the receipts to the Costco police. Not bad, ran into two people, ran into one guy that watches the channel, shout out. Ran into another Instacart shopper, shout out. And 32 minutes from beginning to end, we're loading it. So we'll call it 35 minutes by the time I actually hit the road. Not bad. All right, so I don't know how to jump to, I don't know if you can jump to task. Somebody put it in the comments, please give me some advice here because it's got me going north first and then south i don't want to do that i'd rather go south and then come back this way so i'm kind of backtracking i'm gonna wind up backtracking i don't like that because of i gotta drive a little more miles to get back to where i want to go i don't know how to jump task on this card um somebody help me out is it even an option or do you have to go to the customer that it wants you to go first Okay, approaching the second drop-off. We got some basketball. Look at all these basketball hoops here. I love it. Let's drop this bad boy out. All right, we just com completed that batch. $50, baby. Let's go. So what a difference one day can make. First order yesterday was obviously what we talked about this morning. It wasn't great. We made money, but it's not always about that. This order was really actually easy. We made 50 bucks, hour and 10 minutes. Be patient. You'll have good days, you'll have bad days. It is what it is. You just got to be consistent. Try to make what you can. And then we turn DoorDash back on. And this is what we... Look at... I'm really getting tired of the games with DoorDash, man. 15.7 miles for six bucks. Listen, y'all. Remember when DoorDash last year said they're going to pay more for longer runs? You guys see 14.7... 14.4 miles, right? You guys see how much they want to pay us for that amount of miles? Pedro DoorDash Santiago might disable his DoorDash app. That's just a smack. That's so disrespectful, I can't even begin.
breaking news. I have never seen this. Three orders at once? Has anybody ever... I've never seen it. This is so odd to me. 12 bucks. Three orders and all you get is 12 bucks six months. Three. One, two, three. I have never seen three orders show up at one time all together like that. I don't even... Should I take it just for science? These apps are getting desperate. I didn't take it because I could be there for a while. and I, I've i never seen that on my phone before. I've, uh, I'm have i at 6,300 deliveries or something like that just on DoorDash. So with my acceptance rate the way it is, I've seen, I don't know, six, uh, 80 to 90,000 deliveries hit my phone. I've never seen that before. Have you? I must be. Check out the old shirt. I got the old shirt today. I must be the only driver in South County in Melville for DoorDash. They're sending me all kinds of orders. I got a 625 three miles. Hot Shots is up the street. It's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that one. But the garbage, man. It is crazy. And Instacart, nothing happening on that today besides that one. I haven't even seen any other batches come through, which is fine. We have a Quest bonus at 2 o'clock for Uber. An extra 12 bucks for three completed tricks, trips downtown we'll probably make our way toward that direction uh, we'll be able to make an easy hundred bucks today so this place we're going to is right there it's like a local joint uh, who knows last time i was here i had to wait a little bit i don't expect them to be busy but we'll see what we get here all right let's pick up this order for mary We got a batch. Let's take a look. 25, 30. My, oh my God. That is a, look at that. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> I can't even explain how crazy of an order that is. <clears throat> that place smelled like nothing but an ashtray. I smell so bad right now. I mean, I, I, and I'm sensitive to that. I don't smoke. I hate cigarette smoke. I smell like an ashtray right now, and uh, oh my god, it's so bad. All right, we picked up a 1077 Uber East order. Uh, we're about a mile away from the drop off on this DoorDash. We'll turn right back around, go to Patent Express, pick up a 1077. Let's go. All right, y'all, pop quiz. Directions say leave it at the door. Do you leave it at that door of a big office building like that? Do you leave it outside? What do you guys do? Let me know. All right, now they had time to think, what do you do? Some of you might leave it outside. I text the customer, or I just, I went inside actually first, and I, I, I uh, found them, because that's, some people don't know how to order food. If I leave it outside, you can get a bad rating, they can say they didn't get it. People think that's weird, even though that's what it says. Do what you think's best. I took it inside, found them, they were appreciative. I told, I didn't even, I probably should have said, you know, I should have questioned them as to why they did that. But people just order food and they think it's just going to show up and they don't understand what we actually do. It is what it is. Let's see if this winds up going up from 625. Nope. Stay at 625. I'll take it. $4 tip. Appreciate it, Mary. Uber Eats, ten dollars and seventy-seven cents. Seven Eleven. Let's go. This will put us at seventy-seven bucks. I think it's like twelve forty-five. We got a $25 batch, so 77. We're gonna wind up being a hundred and we'll be over a hundred bucks. What time is it? One o'clock. I'll take it. Let's do this shopping. It's, it's 50 items, but it's only 35 
50 units, 35 items. Put me at over 100 bucks to be done, maybe at 145. I'll take it. Produce done. All right, we're 13 minutes in. Almost done. Maybe another five minutes, it gave us 35. So, all in all, keep it going. All right, we done. Let's go. Oh, unread messages. Let's take a look real quick. Thanks for checking before replacing. <laughs> yes, sir. Bam. Easy money at Aldi right there. This order's going around the corner. I want to show you the address. It says on point. Look at that. Point one mile away. Three minutes. Around the corner. You guys are fantastic. You never know what's going to happen out here with these gig apps. Today, so far, has been a good day. Definitely, when I work tonight a little bit, it'll be a $200 day. Makes up for yesterday. Bet on you, Seckles, one day at a time. Do what you can to make money. Try to be patient. Don't deliver to people that don't tip you. And if you ever get 15 cases of water and somebody wants to get in your car, <laughs> cancel it. I need to vent. This is an Instacart batch, $300 worth of food, almost $300. Uh, 16 cases of water, various other items. It was actually part of a stack. The other customer only had two items. Two, a bag of dog food and another case of water. That was customer A. Customer B was the one that had all this stuff. I get there, he has the wrong address, it's an apartment, whatever. All the signs on the apartment, like the doors say, deliver all packages to the leasing office. The guy's not responsive, so I go to the leasing office. Then he calls me, says, no, I'm at the actual, I'm at the address. So I get there, Warren Loading goes, hey, we have to go to these other buildings. Can I get in your car so we could drop off these other cases of waters to the other building? I end my batch, zero tip on there. So not only do I load these, all this food for him, heavy pay or heavy, heavy water, whatever. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with doing some work, right? If the pay is right, like, it, it's cool. But the fact that this miserable SOB orders all this food, backs a tip out, and then doesn't even give proper delivery instructions and wants to get in my personal vehicle. He's got the balls to ask me to do like, it. You and know I, what? I'm going to be cool, you know? I'm going to be cool about it. Let's drive around your freaking apartment complex and drop off water. Zero tip. If there's not a tip on here, I'm going to go back to old boy and I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. No, I won't do that because you that's stupid. But let, let me tell you something. I, I can't even tell you how fuming mad I am right now because y'all know me, no tip, no trip. I just got got by this miserable, and I mean miserable, all capitals. This dude expect. He, he, the, the ignorance in this man of not knowing, he must think I work for Instacart or I work for, for Osco, Costco. He must think I'm a Costco guy. The balls on that dude. I can't believe I just wasted that much time and energy for a dude that is that inconsiderate. And I showed him consideration by doing what I did for him and I didn't have to do it. I should have just dropped everything off at the given address and said, hey man, sorry, and kept it moving. Dude, that dude right there just pissed me off.